All right, guys, welcome back to uh, some new Patreon requests. We're going to start things off with Major Mercury with Gravity Falls uh, Call of Chaos. You can guess this is a Gravity Falls Warhammer 40k story. Um, yeah. So, yeah, as always, if you guys would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, hit the third tier. That'll allow you access uh, to do so. Like I said, the link will be in the description below. And, yeah. Uh, let's get started. So, how am I going to do this, you may wonder. Well, the answer may surprise you. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started. So this is next summer. This is, the, uh, this is set after the events of Gravity Falls, and Ford and Stan, everyone's back. We're all having a grand old time. But the thing is, is that Ford is looking back at the old portal. Like, he's looking at the remnants of the old, of the old uh, portal machine, and Stan's like, whatever you're thinking, no. <laughs> And he's like, Stan, we could, you know, there. When I was trapped in in the um, endless void of the multiverse, I saw so many things. Like I saw so many great and wonderful th like things out there, and they they could be a benefit to mankind. Like I know, like I know it's a risk, but like I've like we've seen all like everything we've done in the past year, fighting all these monsters, fighting all of these like past um, demons and whatnot. I think, like, it would be beneficiary if we found, like, either weapons or medicine that could help us combat the forces of, of what's out there. And he's like, yeah, we invite something as bad as Bill. And he's like, there are things worse than Bill Cipher out there. But I think we can avoid them. I genuinely think we can avoid them if we can build it. And Stan's like, uh, no. Ford, we work, you know, I, I almost lost you one. I lost you for a ch good chunk of my life, and we're just now getting things back together. Um, between us. So please, for the love of everything, do not do this. Do not fu uh, don't fuck around with that portal. But, you know, uh, Ford agrees, like Ford just acquiesces, and what happens next is that for the next few days, he's just kind of having, like, th uh, like, the thought just does not leave his head. The thought just cannot go away. So in secret, he actually takes the bits of the portal and builds it somewhere else outside of, uh, like, at an old rundown factory. And he rebuilds it from scratch um, with the help of McGucket, who has gotten some of his mind back. So the two of them have been rebuilding it, and eventually, of course, Stan does find out, and everyone else is like, What the hell were you thinking? You, uh, you basically, uh, like, built it even though we told you not to. Uh, and Ford's like, I know, I know, but I just couldn't leave the thought alone. It was just in there, and I just could not let it go. There was something, you know, I needed to... <clears throat> I needed to build this for the betterment for all of us. So, now it's, like, built, so they're trying to... Uh, they can't unbuild it, because now Ford has put, like, some, like, um, a failsafe in it. So, he basically explains, look, I know there are some risks. I'm not stupid. But I put in fail safes, so if it goes bad, if things start going bad, it will self. I can set a code to make it self destruct. So we, I will only use the portal for a total of thirty minutes. Like we'll only take a quick thirty minute peeks in there, and then stop. If it gets too much or something tries to get out, yeah, then I will destroy it. You have my word. So eventually everyone acquiesces, but they're all kind. They're all still wary about it. So the first test, Ford um, invites everyone. First test, they open it up, and it just starts sparking like purple energy. And what happens is that they open it, and it's open to somewhere like dark, and they're screaming on the other side. There's roars, there's everything. And Stan and Ford are like, nope, that was a bad idea, and immediately shut it down. And they uh, Ford actually activates the... Um, Cut, like the self-destruct code and blows up the portal and he's like well that's that i am never doing that again the problem is the next day when they're going to you know get the part you know to scrap it totally the portal's rebuilt like it just rebuilt itself and they're like oh no something got through <laughs> so ford says look we'll just not you you know it can't, the incursion hasn't isn't strong enough to go to break further. So as long as we don't use it more, it'll like this is as far as it'll get. Like we'll be fine. Like we'll, we'll all be cool. Like everything will be all right. Unfortunately, what happens next is a series of, of uh, shall we say, unfortunate events. 
because what happens next is that throughout the every night a different person from uh, from the mystery shack except stan and ford um all go and open the portal like so they feel something like pulling out or like reaching out and calling out to them and they keep opening the portal for like a good hour and looking into the void meanwhile stan like stan and ford are like like ford is like trying to research what that was on the other side and he's like when he finally figures that he's like oh no that was the uh, that was the uh, like stanley that is the worst place we could have been he's like worse than bill's dimension 10 times worse what we saw was the uh, you know was what uh, was called the warp and in there are four horrendous deities called only known as the chaos gods and if they get through even bill was he like even explains like look even bill was afraid of the chaos gods so they've been stuck in their universe for a long time but they can't they have been ha known to have the ability to peer into other universes and they just saw ours but what he doesn't know is that every night like wendy dipper mabel seuss they're all go sneaking out at night from their homes to look in uh, like every night to like each one every it's like a rotation to like look every hour into the uh, into the warp and something is looking back at them so as the days go by there's more occurrences of like uh humans go, you know people going missing or like there's violent outbreaks something is really ha uh, twisted is happening in gravity falls at an exponential rate e uh, and um it's starting to really uh, like uh, everyone's starting to notice that something very wrong is happening here. And there's been sightings of strange beings everywhere, like, uh, you know, like strange demons, pretty powerful ones too, that have been running rampant. But that's not the only thing. Um, it's very clear there's something wrong with ever with uh, Stan and Ford realize there's something very wrong with uh, the rest of the family. Wendy is becoming more aggressive. Um, Dipper is becoming more and more interested in the occult, and he's kind of disting himself from emotionally and everyone else. St um, Seuss isn't really bathing, but that's not uh, but that's normal for the most part. But he's just kind of like becoming more and more disgusting, and Mabel is becoming more um, like twisted in her own right. Like she's like. Um, she makes a new sweater and it's forged from all these animal skins and all like the skins are just hung up around her and he's like oh god I think Ke like uh, Ford is like oh my god chaos is already tainting them like they've already been ta tainted by chaos uh, Stanley we gotta uh, we gotta find a way to destroy that portal once and for all to cut ties with uh, with the warp or you know it's only gonna get worse for them so as the, it progresses, they do become more uh, like the other four become more demonic and more like in shape of the of the gods that uh, they've been um, uh, touched by. Wendy becomes more like her skin starts turning red. She's growing fangs and she's getting more violent, um, even using her axe to just like fucking plunge it through some uh, some bear's head and just wears the uh, skin as like a trophy. Um, Seuss is getting he's growing like bile and and like boils all over his body dipper's growing more like he's starting to grow like feathers and he's starting to like generate magic on his own and mabel's becoming uh, like her skin's changing there's a ho there's like horns growing out of her head eventually yeah and the the chaos that they are unleashing it's starting to spread throughout gravity falls like everyone's starting to like be uh, become corrupted as much as they are and only a hand like Stan and Ford have to like flee because it gets so bad um, that the de uh, the demonic incursions in Gravity Falls is only is only getting worse. Um, so they have to fall back, and only a handful of people are still uncorrupted by chaos, like uh, th uh, like McGucket, uh, Blubs and Durlin, Pacifica, Lazy Susan. Um, they are uh, there isn't a lot. Everyone else is like starting to fall to chaos in their own right, and they every all the other um, all four of these new like avatars of the chaos gods on Earth are now in agreement that protecting the portal is important. But Stan and Ford and what's left and the uncorrupted are trying to figure out what to do next. 
and in doing so they're trying to like form a plan but it's ve uh, but on the other side the rest of gravity falls is just falling to chaos further and further until eventually like now demons are starting to appear wendy actually kills Lidoror of the manators and now corrupts the rest of them of the manators and makes them into servants of corn um Dipper actually my, uh, takes control of the multi bear and turns him into a giant, like, multi headed bear. Uh, Mabel actually goes to the unicorn uh, dimension and just enslaves and and just makes it a place of of debauchery and gore. Um, Seuss actually gets a like he's turned his whole house, his girlfriend, his fa uh, like his family into all. Like, eat, like they're just eating garbage and, and dis it's getting more disgusting and of course they've all ascended into becoming demon princes and princesses um they've all like ascended into those new forms so Stan and Ford have to like this is all, the, their only chance of stopping all of this once and for all is closing that portal so as they're like fighting their way uh, to get to the other side like they are just losing people left and right as they're like trying to fight their way to get to the portal and What happens is that they are just losing people like you even have Mabel like attack them and actually eat um, uh, Lazy Susan because now Waddles is corrupted in this giant demonic pig mount that Mabel rides and she's now wearing like a sweater with all these carved out faces that are screaming uh, as her new demon form, she's got wings. She almost looks like um, a handmaiden of Slanesh in her own right. Uh, Seuss is becoming like uh, the form of like a great unclean. Oh, he almost looks like a great unclean one. Dipper's new form is that he's um, he's got like this huge griffin-like form. Wendy has this new like just almost looks like a female version of Angron. So, as the chaos is c just consuming everything, everything and anything all around it. It's becoming increasingly clear that uh, shit's gone sideways. Shit has gone uh, very, uh, very sideways, and throughout the whole time, allies uh, and the remaining uncorrupted are getting just consumed or ripped apart or forcibly, fo or forcibly changed into the cult of ca into uh, everyone's respective cult of chaos. It isn't until like they finally get to the portal. Stan and Ford are all that's left. And they're like, there, they're, we're finally at the portal, and everything's cool, everything's gonna be okay. So they just start, like, taking axes to it and just start, like, hacking and slashing away at the portal. But something isn't happening. The portal's different, very different, and it's, like, it's made of skin and flesh that keeps, like, regenerating every so often. And that's when the four new Heralds of Chaos uh, come in, and they're like, did you really think it was gonna be that easy? We knew you couldn't destroy the portal, and it was just fun. It was just fun to bring you here. We couldn't have done all. Our new masters couldn't have done this without you, Ford. And he's like, "What? What? what? I I did this for the greater good." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. You thought you did at least. But the th but the fact of the matter is, you they someone was talking to you on the other side. That someone turns out to be the real mastermind of this because it wasn't the chaos gods." The Chaos Gods could start working once they could see through the portal, but it was someone else on the other side of the universe reaching out to Ford and talking to him. That pers uh, that other being was Vashtor the Archifane. And Vashtor was the one, because he's the god of like ideas and ingenuity and everything else, he was whispering to Ford all these uh, like whispering like thought like giving him thoughts of hey i can make the portal and make it better and unintentionally like ford was unintentionally carrying out vashtor the archifane's uh plan was to build that portal and unleash enough chaos energy to not only let the chaos gods through but also allow vashtor to ascend and become the fifth chaos god and have a seat at the great game um so with that, with that now boost of chaos energy that Vashtor allowed, he's now the fifth chaos god. And Stan and Ford, or like Stan gets like when Vashtor is the first one to come through and a, a finally ascends to godhood. The other four gods start coming through, all of their monsters, and Stan's just fucking killed. And Ford is uh, like Vashtor is like, why would I kill you? You gave me all. You gave me all of this. All of this is because of you. So, so Ford, he's not, like, 
corrupted or turned to chaos, but he's for like Vashtor basically like for all eternity keeps him alive so he can watch the or the uh, reap the the benefits as he would say of what he was trying to do. And all five chaos gods now tear the the earth asunder and start spreading their chaos not just through this universe, but now they're spreading it through the whole multiverse. Yeah, this ends on a big fuck you ending. So there you go, guys. That is Gravity Falls Call of Chaos. This ends on a, like, I, like, I wanted to give it that Tales of the Dark multiverse feel. Um, because I do too many happy endings. I want to do, like, a big, like, a big, like, oh, this is not gonna end well ending. But yeah, you guys tell me in the comments below uh, what you guys think of it. Once again, I'd like to thank Major Mercury for this Patreon request. Other than that, hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.